The Nehru Nagar Cultural Association was formed in 1952 and I hear that it is with the benevolence of Ayya Swami Ayer and Seshu Ayer who donated about 14 grounds and this school, Ayya Swami school was formed in 52. It used to happen in a veranda. It was a thinna pallikuda and then in 56 it got recognition. Mainly our, our aim is to give education to the most economically downtrodden people. This school catered to the needs of the poor and the needy people and they have not served the society. This is only aided with schools. We are not collecting say, any fees from uh, the students. It means government gives the salaries of the teachers but uh, the uh, administration and maintenance are all from the public. When the school was started it was only a tax shed and uh, after the Kumbhakonam fire incident it was uh, the government of uh, Tamil Nadu has insisted that we should have uh, structures uh, asbestos sheet. So we have gone to asbestos sheet, but uh, recently in the year 2003, 2013, the, Tamil, the central government has passed a resolution, uh, legislation, Right to Education Act, in which it was stated that it should be a Pakka building. So they have made it very clear for us that it should be a Pakka building before they could give the recognition uh, for the school. So we have to demolish the old structure and have come forward to build. So we have started this construction last year, that is uh, 2013, so at the cost of so 1.2 crores. 10,000 square feet we have constructed. In ground floor, 5,000 square feet. First floor, 5,000 square feet. Each classroom will come, uh, we got a totally 14 classrooms. Uh, identically, it will come in the other side of the area also. Uh, these funds, we got it from publics, those who are uh, uh, giving philanthropists and as well as those who are uh, contributing for each classroom so for 5 lakhs, we will put their names. Then we have constructed these buildings within a short period of 8 months. In fact, in, in all these uh, activities, they all support us. That's why we are able to come forward to do more and more of this uh, type of service in this area. It was, there is no benches in our classes. So uh, in our uh, previous uh, brochures, if you, if you go through it, uh, they are sitting on the floors only uh, while they are uh, writing exam and all sorts. Now only we have uh, made furnitures and all. We have provided in, the, in front of this building more than about... Uh, um, about uh, 10 grounds for the purpose of uh, the school play playground. And also we got a plans to construct uh, toilets. We got a poor uh, toilet. Sanitation is very bad. This was constructed in the year of more than 50 years back. Now we plan to construct neat and uh, hygienic toilets for ch uh, our children. Prime Minister of India wants uh, clean and uh, uh, hygienic uh, atmosphere wherever you are. In, especially in a school like this. These people have the have-nots in the society which they will not be able to get good education, standard education and uh, quality education. That we are trying to give here. And also we got a good results to compare with uh, uh, private schools. So we got uh, out of 500, so our people's got 480 marks these years and also one of the girls has got uh, out of 200 by 200. You will see the outcome of this. It goes to the poorest of the poor and those people who can't afford education in the standard with which we are giving is not uh, available with the, for any other place. So it is going for a good cause and is being spent for that purpose also. I think in uh, older uh, society, temples were doing this because temples were not just religious places. Whether it was Christianity, Islam or Hinduism, temples were doing this because they were administrative centers which, which were doing things for the community. And today, with temples be becoming more of a just religious structure, I think schools and committees like this are becoming very important to take care of the economically lesser downtrodden sections of the society. This is for the purpose of serving the community. It's a social service uh, which we have taken and it, it gives uh, mental satisfaction for the person who is doing the service. This is a nice thing to learn from seniors, something which our society is slowly losing, not to live just for me but for the person next to me.